In many of my videos, and I have many videos, some people have left the suggestion that I should do voiceover work. Now I have no idea if that's a compliment or if it was an insult. I tend to think it was an insult, but I'm going to take them up on that idea. That's me kids, taking them up on that idea and doing voiceover work. And in that attempt to do voiceover work, I have my friend over here, Mr. Puppet. That's him kids. Well, we won't call him Mr. Puppet. He's going to be Mr. Tony. But I also have to tell you this. What caused me to do this was, yes, was those few suggestions. But then I saw there's a channel, and I'll have a link to it in the description. It's a puppet called Nona Maria. That's a nice, eh? Huh? And that person does absolutely fantastic work. So upon seeing Nona Maria and those suggestions, that gave birth here <laughs> to Mr. Tony. Now I know what a lot of you are thinking. Who's the real dummy here? I heard that. <laughs> I like to think he is. <laughs> That's me, kids. Mr. Tony the puppet. So I'm going to leave you now alone with Mr. Tony here for you to determine who's the real, <laughs> the real dummy here. All right, folks. Wheelie magic I.O. Well, recently the South Koreans announced that they were going to go whaling and it upset many people. Yeah, that's what it did, kids. New Zealand and Australians were fit to be tied. So an Australian news station interviewed the cult leader. That's what they did. They interviewed the cult leader. I have a link to that interview in the description. The cult leader says that he is sure, that's him kids, he is sure that the Japan had a lot to do with it. In other words, the Japanese put the Koreans up to doing that, announcing that they were going to go whaling. That's it. The people of South Korea listen to the Japanese. He also said that that Japan pushed the South Koreans to doing it because they need the Korean whale meat for the Japanese whale meat market. Huh? Wasn't it Captain Kangaroo who also said at one time that there was tons of unsold whale meat in Japanese warehouses that they could not sell it. So if they have all that whale meat, why do they want to import more? He also said that Japan is also pushing Iceland and Norway to go whaling. Yeah! Those countries listen to whatever the Japanese tell them to do, so says he. <laughs> All right. Then there's a court case going on in an international court between Australia and Japan in reference to the Southern Ocean Make Believe Whale Sanctuary. And he said no matter what the verdict, the Japanese were not going to obey it. How does he know that? Another thing about it was, he keeps insisting and in mentioning the Australian Antarctic Whale Sanctuary. Guess what, kids? It's only recognized by four countries. The captain also said that he is willing to take his fleet into South Korean waters to stop the whaling. Really? Majikayo! We all know the cowards would not be going into South Korean waters. He makes another outlandish statement. 90% of all the whales, their population has been depleted from the original count. Eh? Whales have been around 5 to 10 million years. Was he there counting the whales back then? What, are you stupid? <laughs> then he ends off by saying, if you stop the Japanese from whaling, that will stop the Koreans, Iceland and Norway. You see folks, to him it is Japanese is the center of all evil so he can get money from you. His minions who harbor hate for Japan and the Japanese and the depths of your darkened hearts. That's it kids. Alright, we'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. And God bless the nation you happen to be in. See ya.